What's going on guys, my name is Zanaviz, and sorry if my voice is a little weird right now, I am sick. I hate being sick, I'm pretty sure everybody hates being sick. But, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like put all that aside. You might hear me sniffle or whatever, but I'm gonna put all that aside, because I want to bring you guys some of the good, some of the good content that is uh, getting released in Forza. And other games. But, for Forza, we have a new car. You go over here to the festival playlist. And all the way over here at r, &R Spotlight, you see we have this uh, new car. So, I already unlocked it. I already got it. And just just, just for a... Uh, how do you say it? Um, just to check and see what's over here at the Forza Thon shop. We have a Chevy Camaro for 700. I don't know why you would do that. Just go buy it, and it's it's in the it's in the shop. Just go buy it. Not this shop. It's in the the dealer type shop. So just go buy it. Don't don't waste 700 Forzathon points. We're gonna go to. Actually, we can just spawn it in right here. Oh, hold up. We just spawn it in. Change car. What the heck? All right, so we have the we have the Porsche number 46. I mean, it's not fat. It's not all that fast for like 1951, but this was their racing back then. Getting the thrill of barely getting the hit, 60 miles an hour. How many gears does this have? It only has four gears. I'm pretty sure it goes a lot faster. I was going uphill. Uh, it does not turn. Holy shoot, it refuses to turn. This thing is not fast at all. So we're here at the upgrade shop. I want to see what type of upgrades we can put. Now, stock engine's pretty dang slow. I think we're going to beef it up to either something else because we can just throw in a 2.7 flat 6 or 4.0 flat 6. I think we're going to do the 4.0 flat 6 because um, racing life. So, we could throw all-wheel drive on it. It would, you know, fix everything. But... Let's not do that right now. Uh, twin turbo, sure, let's go for that. And then the rest of this is just standard stuff, so. So here for the interesting stuff, we have Forza Arrow. We have Porsche, which just removes the bumper in in total. I think that looks cool. Let's go over here. We have a little Forza wing. Not gonna do that. And this is just remove that. <clears throat> that should be it. So let's install the setup. We're putting out 960 horsepower, and we weigh, I don't know how the heck we weigh more. That doesn't even make sense, but whatever. We have 960 horsepower in 1,600 pounds worth of a car. So let's go and see what this thing can do. I think we're going to take it down the speedway first, like the highway. So we're back over here at the speedway or whatever you want to call it highway speedway expressway whatever and i want to see what the top speed of this thing is now that we have fitted upgrades to it so i'm gonna start in second gear oh shoot there we go second gear boosting the launch 6000 launch I cannot control this thing. This thing is going way too freaking fast. Or not fast. It's just, it wants to spin everywhere. This thing just wants to spin everywhere. I'm going to put it in 6 gear. Actually 5 gear. 4, drop it 4. Yeah, yeah, I it's very impossible to control this thing. I'm going to real quick see what happens if we were to put uh let's just go over here. Actually no, let's go to this one. If we were to put drag tires on it, what would happen? What do you guys think would happen? Where is the 
So I put drag tires on it, and I decided to come to this little drag strip over here. That way it gives me more space to actually, like, actually, like, drag the thing or whatever. I'm basically gonna have to drag it because there's, like, so much power in this thing. It just wants to spin all day. I want to see what the inside looks like. Alright, alright, pretty standard. What are those red lights? What are those buttons right there for? Looks pretty standard, I don't know. Those are a lot of switches. Um, anyways, let's get to launching this thing. So, I'm gonna put it in second gear. Launch it at like four grand. Five grand RPM. I had to let off the throttle because this thing was not going to let me go. 210 miles an hour. Yo, this thing's pretty quick. Honestly, though, if you stick drag tires on it, I mean, it, it's, it's a pretty quick one. I'm pretty sure with, like, a tune and everything, this thing would be pretty fast. It's just very ridiculous to try and drive it with, like street tires or race tires because it, it just keeps spinning and spinning and spinning fourth gear hits that one holy shoot this thing does not turn nope I don't know what that just happened here. What can we hit? What can we hit? What can we hit? I saw 267. 267 miles an hour in this little old 1951 Porsche. That's pretty, that's pretty quick, yeah. That is very quick if you ask me, holy shoot. I'm just realizing it, cause like back then, I'm pretty sure that like their max speed was like 50 miles an hour. Even, like that's even like a what if. That's like a possibility, maybe. Now we have freaking Bugatti Chirons hitting nine, nine, not 900. We got them hitting 304 miles an hour. I don't know if you guys, I'm pretty sure you guys saw it, but they made a, a Bugatti Chiron hit 304 miles an hour which is an insane number if you think about it it is very insane to get a car to hit 300 miles an hour that's crazy another thing that Bugatti said is that they were gonna stop trying to set uh, speed records which I don't think is a very good idea I feel like Bugatti needs to keep doing what they were doing but their CEO is uh, kind of stupid right now and he said that they're just going to focus on other things rather than trying to set speed records. So let me know Let me know what you guys think of that. Drop down in the comments. But that's going to be it for this one guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, feel free to subscribe. Actually, no, I want you guys to subscribe and share with your friends. Come on, guys. Don't be stingy. Share with your friends. Feel free to follow my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All are going to be linked down in the description below. I'm also going to link down the the previous video. And... Sorry, guys. Kaleho is looking at this bug flying around. And she, I think she wants to, like, kill it. But... That's going to be it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching. Hope you guys have an amazing day. I'll see you guys in the next one. And stay freaking legendary, guys. Wait, 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 wait. One more thing. The video of the Mercedes X-Class versus the Colorado is going to be the next video that comes out, which is going to be on Tuesday. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe for that. Hit the notification bell. That way you know I'm, I'm that I posted that and future content and 
let me know what you guys think about me calling you guys Xana kids. Xano kids. It was a... Uh, it's a thing my friend called called me. Uh, he's one of my Fortnite friends. Um, instead of calling me Xanaviz, he would call me Xano kid. So, let me... Let me know what you guys think about Xano Kid. But that's gonna be it, guys. Thanks a ton for watching. Hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay legendary.